the culture. We have a different culture here. It's amazing. It's it's so. Oh, it was really eye opening to walk from one business into another, and just feel feel the difference in the atmosphere. Real true power comes from actually having relationships. Ultimately, we can't make people actually do anything. The directors of the company now sit on the board um, and we've um, had a new management team. That's a big thing to do. The directors and the founders of the company sort of moving back into where they sort of began, I suppose, where as consultants and, and sort of taking more of a hands-off approach to the actual day-to-day -day running of the company. I have probably the most senior consultant, as far as a consultant expert in right. my t out of all the people in my team, yes, okay. on, and as well as two of the principals. Fascinating challenge. Yeah, fabulous. The directors are stepping down and letting other colleagues of workers of IPM take charge and manage their business, which is a very big trust. I think having the, those values as the, the basis or the, the framework in which we make the change is really important. It's a huge change and it's exciting for all of us. Businesses have actual actual fatalities, and those businesses continue. But there's lasting, you know, lifelong impacts on the people who are involved. There's a few things I've done at home before where I certainly wouldn't do it now because you stop and think and go, if I climb up that ladder, leaning against that, what's the likelihood it's actually going to stay there? I guess it's it is doing as you say, but it's not just in a work situation, it's, I guess it's how you live your life as well, it's, it's how you approach everything. We have agreements in the business as the way we're going to operate about our professionalism, the way we're going to approach clients, all of those things and the integrity is about we do what we say. Um, you know, just taking into consideration other people's thoughts and ideas. Certain things have been discussed in the recruiting process yeah. and every single one of those have been lived up to, which is fabulous and that's doesn't, that has never happened to me before, to be honest. <laughs> My first interview that I had here, I sort of walked in and I just remember it. I just remember being so welcomed and felt so comfortable and respected. Good communication, you involve everybody. Being able to communicate well is actually being able to ask for that help if you do find that you're missing some knowledge. The regularity of meetings, they don't have to be long, but everybody gets to be aware of what's going on in the workplace. A couple, couple of sides to it, I think. One is the, you know, the quality of product that we deliver to a customer and to our clients is, is critical to our work. We pride ourselves on being the best. One of the most challenging and the most enjoyable things and exciting things about consulting is you're kind of a problem solver all the time and it's getting that whole picture and then actually coming out and saying this is, this is what you need and these are the reasons why and this is how I can help you. Um, the other side of it I think is like built into, in terms of the quality of our people and, and how we operate as a business internally and that is really closely aligned with those other values about the, you know, the integrity, about the respect, communication being the other really important one in there respect it's in everything i would probably actually say respect which one would you choose um that's hard it's a toss-up between quality and respect and i can't i can't choose one really? can't no choose. it's like picking your favorite child <laughs> One of the most beautiful things is that people aren't in such a hurry. There's a lot of incredibly smart, qualified people here. There's no undercurrents. So to see the consultants go out each day and make a difference in workplaces is a real good thing. Yeah, it's, it's a lot different here.